Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. Very good. How you doing, my brother? That's exactly why we're here. We're here to reach out to those that want that that don't know who they are or who knows but don't know what requires from them. So you know you're Israel, right? What do you think God's want from you as an Israelite? Because remember, to be an Israelite, you are God chosen people. Right. God chooses you out of a bunch to be his chosen. All these other nations, God chose you over them. So what do you think God's want from you? In return. Learn what? Learn the history. That's easy to say. I mean, you can learn the history all you want. That's not going to make you a peculiar people. Knowing the scripture is one. Right. Applying is another. Right. Give me that scripture that I just called earlier, Psalm 111 and 10. I'm going to show you. What, what do I mean by that? You got a lot, don't just, don't just uh, 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 want to hear it, but you want to be applying it in your life. Right. So you can be a living example to those that are without. Right. Those that don't know that they're Israel. You, you, you understand what I'm saying? You gotta be an example. Uh, actually, you know what, give me uh, 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 1 Corinthians 3, 16 first. You know. I'm gonna show you what do I mean by you use yourself as a living example. To your brothers that don't know the Israel. Right. Watch this. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 3 and verse 16. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God. God is asking you, don't you know that you are his temple? That's the question God, God asks you. To be God, uh, uh, to be having God, I mean your body to be the temple of God. Watch this. Read, read it again. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God uh -huh. and that the spirit of God dwelleth in you. Do you know why God's spirit dwells in you? Because you are his chosen. Right. God's spirit is not in everybody. Right. God's spirit is only under 12 sons of Jacob. And you are one of the 12 sons of Jacob. Watch this. Read on. Verse 17. If any man defile the temple of God, he, him shall God destroy. How do you defile God's temple? Oh, that, you are 100% correct. But how do you do that? Give me some example. Yes, yeah, so you know. You know where I was yeah. going with that. Smoking is one where you polluted your body. Right. And God says that's his temple. God's spirit is in you. Because right. you are one of the one of the sons of Jacob. Right. Chosen nation. So what would you do that to yourself? Guess what? That's not the only thing. That's one of the examples I'm giving you. It's the same thing with the tattoos. You are God chosen people. Did you know that God don't want you to mark yourself? Yeah, I know it now. Yes. I know it now. Guess what? Guess what? All praises. That's a, a process. Because we ourselves, give me that in uh, Titus 2 and 3. 3 and 3, I think it is. I'm, I'm going to show you. If, even us here that you're just standing before you, we're not any better. We were once in your shoes. Right. But guess what? We learn the scripture and we, we stop whatever that we used to do and change our ways. Watch this. The book of Titus, chapter 3 and verse 3. For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish. See that? We ourselves were sometimes foolish. Foolish in what? Not keeping God's commandment. Right. Putting tattoos on ourselves. I had tattoos too one time. But guess what? Once I learned this book, I know this is not something that I want to continue doing. Right. Because that's what God says. Uh, give me that in 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and 17. Bring it out. God is telling you. You now a new creature, but for you to be a new creature, you gotta let go of things of the past. Right. Watch this. 
the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 5 and verse 17. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. See that? If any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. To be a new creature, that means you no longer have any dent, any anything that you used to have in the past. Right. Read. All things are passed away. All things. Your smoking should be passed away. Right. Tattoos should be passed away. Right. right. Jumping from women to women should be passed away. Right. Not keeping the Sabbath day holy should be passed away. Because right. what? You are a new creature. Yeah. Read on. All things become new. All things become new. Give me uh, 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 Romans chapter 12 verse 2. Uh, no. Second, uh, first 14 chapter 12 verse 2. I I'm going to show you that knowing this, you got to start living according to the, the, the Bible. Is that what I need? We definitely. The book of Romans, chapter 12 and verse 2. And be not conformed to this world. Yeah, God says, don't be conformed to this world. Because the matter of this world tell you what? To have tattoos, to have multiple girlfriends, right. to smoke, to live your life how you want to live your life. Be a liberal. That's what, that's what the world teaches you. But guess what? God says, don't conform yourself to this world. Read that. Be not conformed to this world, uh -huh. but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. See, God says transform your mind. Change the way you used to think. Right. That's why it's, it, it, I was telling you earlier for you to change your uh, uh, leave the things of the past behind you. Right. The smoking, that's not something you should want to do because you, you're destroying your own selves. Right. You wonder why we're dying in cancer? That's the solution right there. Why not putting it down if you want to live longer? Be a, 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 a part of the solution for your community. Right. Are you okay with the way we're living in this society today? When you get pulled over, you don't know if you're going to make it home. That's not a safe life. Right. But guess what? God is doing this to us for us to repent. Give me that OCL 5 and 15. You know? God is doing this to us. He's trying to get your attention. He's trying to get your attention by putting us through affliction. Right. Give me that. The book of Hosea, chapter 5 and verse 15. I will go and return to my place. God says he will go and return to his place. Meaning, once upon a time, God used to be around us. He says he will go and, and go back to his place. Read. I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense. Until you acknowledge your offense. Until you are aware of the things that you're doing that you shouldn't be doing. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, how you doing today, my sister? We're going over to transform our mind, to let go of the things of the past. Where would you find yourself on this board, man? You heading out, man? Hey, guess what? You have the flyer, right? Yeah, I got the flyer. You should check us out. Check us out and try to change your life. Sis, where do you find yourself on this board? Judah. But guess what? What do we call ourselves here? Blacks, African-American, Afro-American. Negroes, why? Why every 10 years we have a different nationality? What? Did you know African American was created in 1985 by Jesse Jackson? What? So you, 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 you try to tell me our nationality is younger than we are? Does that make any sense? So why is that going on in our community? Why do we have to deal with stuff like that? Having our nationality to change every 10 years. Why? Do you want to know why? You got kids? You got three kids. How bad is it to try to raise those children to be uh, 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 very productive in society when they don't even know who they are? Right. You know? Remember, how can you go anywhere if you don't know where you came from? Right? Because if you think you are a thug, Ain't nothing good gonna come out of that. Right. If you think you are a, a prostitute or a thot, you ain't nothing good gonna come out of that. But if you think you're a prince, a princess, yes, great things will come out of that. That's Let me right. show you that. Give me a uh, 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 Deuteronomy 28 verse 15. I'm gonna show you why we're in this situation. And we can get out of it too. By acknowledging your sin and repent. Read that for me. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. See that God says it will happen if you don't listen to God's voice. Right. Read. 
to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Is curses a good thing? Because God say, if you don't listen to all the commandments that I give you, all these curses will come upon you and overtake you. So now we know those curses is what going to able to identify us as the children of Israel. Now watch this. Uh, uh, read verse Isaiah, Isaiah chapter uh, 65 verse 15. I'm going to show you how we are living the curse that the Bible speak of. The book of Isaiah chapter 65 and verse 15. And ye shall leave your name for a curse. God says you will leave your name, your beautiful name that you have for a curse. What's your last name, sis? Johns. Did you know that's your slave master last name? Right. When our forefathers, foremothers come in this uh, our country, they stamp them with their last name. Bring it up. You are, you are the Johnson. You are the Jones. You are the uh, uh, Jeffersons. That's the name that, you, that we had. We forsake our own name for our slave master name. Right. You know Malcolm X, right? Do you know why Malcolm X had changed his name? He understood that. Right. He said, I don't know my last name. That last name, that, that was the name of your people. That's not my name. Right. Guess what? We don't understand that today. That's not your last name, sis. The scriptures say you will leave your good name for a cursed name. That's not something that should happen. Right. Give me uh, uh, Psalm chapter 83. I'm going to show you why it happened. There's a reason. Everything that you see going on in society, there is a, 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 a reason behind it. Of course, God is putting us in that, in that position because we sin against him. But listen to that scripture. The book of Psalms, chapter 83 and verse 2. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult. You hear that? God have enemies. If God have enemies, shouldn't God chosen people also have enemies? Right. So why do we think today that we have no enemies? Now you wonder why when we get, get when we get killed in the streets, we wonder why? Because we have no uh, uh, guards against our enemies. Right. Our guards is down, but yet we have guards against our own people. You step on my feet, I'm ready to kill you. You uh, 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 look at my wife a certain way, I'm ready to shoot you. But your real enemy, you let pass right by you and do nothing about it. Right. They step on you. Put their, I'm not saying for us to uh, 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 do violence. That's not what I'm saying. What I am saying is be mindful of those that hate your guts. Right. Start learning to deal with your people instead of everybody. Say everybody uh, is my people. No. Read that for me. The book of Psalms, chapter 83, and verse 2. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult. God enemies make a tumult. A tumult is a loud gathering. How are you doing, my brother? We're going over why are we in this situation? Why are we in the bottom? Read. It's telling you gods have enemies, and those that hate God, they uh, make a tumult. A loud gathering where you hear all type of commotion going on. You have that today in the UN, because you have different languages that's going on, so there is a lot of talking. Okay, they had a, 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 a gathering against you. Read the book of Psalms, chapter 83 and verse 2. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult, uh -huh. and they that hate thee li have lift up the head. God says those that hate you, they lift up their head. Why they lift up their head? Because they become, they become very prideful. They think they are God themselves. They think they are God's chosen people. That's why you have those in Israel today call themselves Jewish. When you are the real Jews. Right. You the real Jews because the scripture is talking about you saying that you're going to leave your name for a curse. Those that are in Israel, they know who they are. They know where they came from. You, I will ask you where you're from. You won't know. The closest you'll give me will say that you're from Africa. Where in Africa, you have no idea. Not knowing that you run away from persecution of the Romans, so-called white men, run down to Africa. And then from there, they get you again and brought you here to do slaves work. Right. God is telling you, you must repent. Pay attention, sis. I'm not done with you. Read. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. Crafty counsel is a secret gathering. That's still going on today. What can we do to keep these people in the bottom? You have your red linings. You guys are familiar with red linings? Where they uh, put you in an a, a, a area, what you would call that today, what? What's the name for that today? Area that mostly so-called blacks and Hispanics stay in. The ghettos. But guess what? Hold on to that scripture. Give me Deuteronomy 28, verse 16. I'm going to show you that's in the Bible. 
They put you in a square area, in a little small area, where you guys can kill each other. Watch this. This is what God said. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 16. Cursed shalt thou be in the city, and cursed shalt thou be in the field. God says you will be cursed in your city, the city that you live in. How are we cursed? We, uh, uh, when you go in our community, what do you find? Selling drugs to each other, killing each other, rape, prostitution, all those things going on where? In our neighborhood, right. in the ghetto, in the slums, in the sec uh, section eight, the projects. That's what you find. God says that was gonna happen to us. Go back to all the scripture. Pay attention, read. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. Uh -huh. They have consulted against thy hidden ones. Who are the hidden ones? You are. What's your nationality, my brother? What's your nationality? Huh? You don't know? That's that's a that's a perfect example. Or if you were to say you blacks, that still goes into the same thing because you don't know. Black is just a color. Okay? The scriptures say they had taken crafty counsel against thy hidden ones. Who are the hidden ones? We are, because we don't know who we are. That's what the scripture just said. Pay attention. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. Did you hear that? They said, and that they referred to the other nations, not one nation. Let us come and cut these people off from being a nation. A nation make up 12 tribes. The nation of Israel is made of 12 tribes. Right. He says, let us cut them off from being a nation. How did they do that? They call you African-American. Right. They call him Jamaican. Right. They call me Haitian. They call uh, uh, Puerto Rican, Cubans. That's a way to divide us. Right. Ah, that's not my people. That's uh, he Haitian. Oh, that's not my people. That's an uh, African-American. Oh, he's Jamaican. That show you what? Division. Divide to conquer. They said, let us cut them off from being a nation why? Here's the main purpose behind it. Read. That the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. So you don't remember yourself as an Israelite. That's right. That's the, most, that's, that's the ultimate reason. Remember that other scripture we read earlier? It says you will leave your name for a curse. Right. You will not remember yourself as an Israelite. Right. You remember yourself as an African American, right. Haitian, Jamaican, Puerto Rican, Cubans, Mexicans. Those are not your nationality. That's right. Just to show you that is going on because we sin against God. Now let me show you who are those people and then I'm going to jump off. Finish that up. For they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee. It's not. The tabernacles of Edom. The first one that I mentioned was Edom, the so-called white man. Right. That's the first one that come together in one's consent to make sure that we don't know who we are. And right. that's still going on today. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.